Another thing that's designed to work with vibration. This? <laughs> Working. It still works if you leave it on. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you meant? <laughs> <laughs> so, American Pro Tellies, huh? Is that mm. what we're talking about here today? Well, that's what you got. Oh, that's what I have too. Oh. Yeah. I'll be damn. You never know what Larry's going to put in our hands. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what, uh, let's hear that thing with some slap back. Okay. A little bit of, a little country twang. <laughs> That's country twang. <laughs> so the new, well, it's not new anymore, really, but the American Pro the difference is from the, st the, the American standard, which was the, pr the predecessor, right? Yeah. Is, run us, or tell me a couple things about it, just because the, the upgrades, because I know there's some really cool stuff about it. Well, they went with the new Shaw designed pickups, and uh, what else can I tell you? Okay, of course, the, the electronics, you know, has the, uh, the, um, the treble bleed circuit, so that when you reduce volume from the volume control, you don't lose high frequencies. Let's try that. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Yeah, that's a big deal. That is a big deal. Another thing is they went away from the medium jumbo frets. So that's something that if you're used to playing, a, a, you know, acoustic guitar a lot, the yeah. first thing I notice is that, yeah, it's easy to make this thing go sharp because yeah. you have skinnier, taller fret wire. Yeah. So um, that was a feel thing that I first noticed. Right Thanks away. for the disclaimer, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess, I'm gonna, I've been playing acoustic more than anything and it's gonna sound a lot like this. Not like that. But yeah, it's, they, it is a different feel because my Strat that I play, I don't, I can press them down. You know what I mean? I, and I don't have to worry about being sharp, but this thing, it makes it easier to play if you let it. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like it's just a complete. It's it's just a nicer guitar. You know, I think the Fender in general has always been good about getting better. You know, even if, whether it's takes a few tr mistrials or something. <laughs> you know, they generally go in the right direction. That's so. true. I would, I'm always often asked like, what's your favorite? You know, Strat or, or Telecaster, and really, it's what are the most recent version of where they call it the standard series, or in this case, professional, whatever that, that price point that's, you know, uh, American guitar, Corona, California made yeah. with a hard shell case. Yeah. Yeah. I love them, man. I, I grabbed that guitar when they first came out with them because I always wanted a telly and I never had one, but I, so I, I had to get the, the natural looking telly, you yeah. know what I mean? So, but, uh, and what's cool is that this year now with American uh, professional series guitars, now we've got some, humbucker equipped shawbucker equipped uh telecasters yeah you know you have to go back quite a few decades to get something that's standard like that an american series guitar i think that at least looks like that you know yeah and it's i mean <clears throat> the shawbuckers like t it was a good thing they brought him in yeah. you know or brought that that pickup back because mm -hmm. the idea you know is it's not just a one trick pony anymore. You know, I can be, I can kind of cut this back and, and do. And it's, you know, it sounds good. That's on the, the, the neck pickup with it cut back. Mm -hmm. You know, then you can, I got this on like a medium gain. You know, and it gets a little, and that's, that's not even a whole lot of gain, but these things are putting out, I feel, just like the right amount to make this thing, like, really respond and, and give you some dynamics, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I think it's fun, it's fun as hell to play. So, and that's, you know, so that's that for me, man. <laughs> so, but. Yeah, great rock and roll guitar, great country guitar. It's funny, just the other day, I, I, someone I was speaking with on the phone didn't know that Jimmy Page did a lot of early stuff 
with the Telecaster. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, Tom Morello, some of the heaviest grooves ever. You know, yeah. Rage Against the Machine composed on a Tele. Well, know? and that's a good thing. You know, like you know, I don't always like to do this, but like if you're watching this, like spread. Let's let's just ask everybody. Like, what what songs do you know that Jimmy Page recorded with a Tele? Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's put it in the comments, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, because everybody should know that. I mean. Everybody, you see him with the with the Les Paul, and that's what you think he played all that stuff on, but it's not. I mean, there's some of those signature licks that are on telly. Yeah, you know? yeah. And it's it's awesome. Yeah. You know, so so you don't normally play country every weekend. You <laughs> no, know? I suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm even worse, so I'm not even going to attempt it. But uh, you know, I think like, and you know that it's to set up like a, a country groove so everybody can hear this is hard for me. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do that rollback thing and play like a little blues thing and let you drift in and out of blues and country. Okay. Like you do. Does that sound okay? Sure. All right. <laughs> like we practiced it <laughs> note for note <laughs> no but you know it's unmistakable you know what I mean the telly sound what no matter what pickup you're on it's it's got that it's got that thing you yeah. know and you add a what are you playing a carbon copy deluxe yeah that, yeah you know, carbon copy deluxe a little bit of kind of that perfectly timed country slap back you know I've, I'm using an ego compressor I don't really need to for the rhythm stuff, but you know, to get into where, you know. This thing sounds good. Yeah. yeah. So that, I mean, that's obviously the, the bridge pickup, you know, so. <laughs> Hey, that might be the best lick I've ever played. <laughs> Don't bet on that again. So this is Ed. You know Ed. He's in all these videos. I'm Brett, and thank God I'm not in very many of them. But uh, I kind of had to. I wanted to get involved a little bit, so I'm here. And uh, and uh, just check it out. We've got a bunch of these in stock, and you know it's it, they're fun to play. It makes you play differently. You know, if you play rock or blues all the time, yeah. you grab one of these and throw it. Especially that and throw it in a different pickup configuration, get it out of the bridge pickup maybe. And it, you know, makes you play different things. Oh yeah. Expand your horizons. So thanks for stopping by. It's Brett and Ed. <laughs>